2013 marks 50 years since the death of John XXIII, who summoned the Second Vatican Council. Angelo Giuseppe Roncalli was born in Sotolmonte, a small village in the province of Bergamo, northern Italy, in 1881. At 22, he became a priest. The following year, in 1905, he was appointed secretary to his bishop. In 1921, Benedict XV appointed him the Italian president of the Congregation of Propaganda Fide. He was also the apostolic delegate to Bulgaria and a nuncio in Istanbul, Athens, and Paris. In 1953, Pius XII made him a cardinal and appointed him Patriarch of Venice. He lived there until 1958 when he was elected Pope at the age of 77. During his five-year pontificate, he created cardinals for the first time in countries like Tanzania, Venezuela, and Mexico. He was the first pope to receive the Anglican primate. He also excommunicated Fidel Castro in the 60s. He wrote eight encyclicals, and on October 11, 1962, he opened the Second Vatican Council. Cari figlioli, sento le vostre voci. Qui tutto il mondo è rappresentato. Si direbbe che persino la luna si è affrettata stasera. He presided over the Second Vatican Council, which he called an updating of the church, for just eight months. On June 3, 1963, he died of stomach cancer. His successor, Paul VI, began his beatification process after Vatican II had ended. John Paul II beatified him in 2000, 37 years after his death. At the time, Cardinal Jose Saravia Martins was prefect of the Congregation for the Causes of Saints. I admire John XXIII because in his life and spirituality, I find a true shepherd, a deeply human and communicative person. He made people long for him. He was the good Pope, a truly extraordinary figure. He summoned the Second Vatican Council, something Pius XII had wanted to do before him. His feast is celebrated on October 11th, the same day the Second Vatican Council began. To this day, it's recognized as the most important work of his life.